see, Jason was my son. <laughs> and today is his birthday. Messenger of God. Let me have your doom if you stay here. What's going on guys, Mr. Jason here. I, it's been a while since I did a video and I thought to myself today, I was just like, you know what? I watched the WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view last night. I have some thoughts on a few things that happened on it from some, you know, kind of controversial people have been talking about it, mixed reactions. So I figured, you know what? It's been a while, so I'll do a video now about that. I will do my best. Usually if I don't 100% pay attention to it, you know, like a pay-per-view like that, I don't keep everything in my mind. I'll be honest, I was on my phone talking to my friend about the stuff that was currently happening, so there were some things that I missed. So, the ending of the men's money in the bank. Otis. I totally missed the ending. I, I, saw, I saw Otis on, like, holding the suitcase and all that, but I totally missed the ending. I know there was a situation where a couple wrestlers, I guess, got thrown off the roof. I didn't try to look up clips or anything, but... I know beforehand, there was already talk about that happening, like something big. You know, everybody just already figured it was going to be people falling off the roof. It's been done before. If you think back to WCW when Hulk Hogan pushed the big show off of the top of a roof of a building, it's been done before. And of course, it, no harm. And I saw some people being like, oh, haven't they learned from Owen Hart's death of like doing stunts like that? It's like, it's been done before. It's not the first time this happened. And it was taped, so they could have done a lot of editing. It wasn't live. So, um, yeah, the Men's Money in the Bank overall, how they kind of made it like somewhat like a movie. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It was mixed reactions from people from what I've been seeing saying it was just wasn't a match. It was ridiculous. But you know what? When you think back to the Attitude Era when, you know, that's pretty much what put WWE on the like on top. The Attitude Era. Yeah, it had matches, it had wrestling, but overall, it was all about the entertainment aspect that was brought into it, which, you know, caught everybody's attention and brought a whole new fan base. So, yeah, it's more PG-ish now, I guess you can say, and more family-friendly now when they do stuff like that, but at the same time, it's the entertainment aspect that brought so many people into the whole wrestling world during the Attitude Era. So, you know, going back to, not back, because the back was the Attitude Era, going forward to now, with all the stuff they're deciding to do now, especially with the no crowds being allowed live, you have more cinematic type matches, kind of like what you saw with the Money in the Bank. The Boneyard match wasn't even like, wasn't, they weren't even dressed in wrestling uniforms or anything like that. The Money in the Bank situation, even though it was inside of a headquarters, it was more of a match, I think. That's my thoughts. These are all my opinions, so I'm going to get criticized for my thoughts and what I think about things. I mean, my thoughts on the whole process of the entertainment aspect and all that stuff. I don't even know if I'm wording this stuff correctly. I'm trying my best. But my whole point of all that is... For those who disagree and just say the entertainment stuff and all that is just crap. It needs to be more wrestling, mostly wrestling. Look back to the Attitude Era. Yeah, it probably did have a little more wrestling than some of the stuff they're trying to do now differently. But at the same time, I'd say the Attitude Era was like 50-50. Wrestling, entertainment, promos, talking, blah, blah, blah. So, it's not that much of a different now. Yeah, it, the Attitude Era, it was more for mature audiences and they... They didn't have to worry about offending people so easily like they do now. So it's very limited, but my whole point of that is that when they do these cinematic things, it's entertaining, it's fun. You can tell that these wrestlers had a blast doing it. They, had, they definitely had fun filming it. The only thing I didn't like is how it both took place at the same time. It just kind of took away the attention from what was going on in one compared to the other. But I did like how they kind of had them collide. At some point, you know, with the food fight situation and all that. That was cool. I liked that. But my thoughts on that match overall as the way they did it, I liked it a lot. It was really fun. I hope they do stuff like this some more during the whole 
no live crowd situation, or even when the live crowds are allowed back, hopefully they do more cinematic type things like that, because it's cool. I know it won't be as good for the live crowd, because they won't be watching it on TV, so they'll have to do it a little differently if they continue with this. But uh, the outcome, I don't think Otis is at that level. I know some people are fans of Otis, they want him to get that push, but a lot seem like they're not happy with Otis winning. I like Otis, he's fun to watch. But not to the level of where he should get the money in the bank suitcase. But if he does cash it in for the tag titles with his partner, Tucker, like the ha like it's being rumored and all talked about, then yeah, okay, fine, that's cool. Hopefully they win, it doesn't go to waste. But uh, women's money in the bank, it would it, since they both took place at the same time, it was fun to watch. But Asuka, I don't know, I think they already killed her, so I'm not really psyched about that. The second thing I want to talk about that's controversial is the Bray Wyatt match versus Braun Strowman. Bray Wyatt, his own decision, he wanted to put Braun over. So, there you have it. Just right then and there, finally they listened to one of their own talents. The talent put his mind in and his thoughts of what should happen. And Bray's got a lot of control when it comes to his creative stuff. But uh, he wanted to put Braun over and... It happened. He put Braun over. It makes sense. This story is going to continue. The Fiend's going to come out and get his revenge. I got goosebumps because I love The Fiend. I don't know. I'm just a weird person like that. But, uh, you know, when they showed Braun on the ramp and they showed the close-up of Bray Wyatt's face, they showed those little clips of The Fiend's mask and doing a little noise they always do when they do that. And, you know, I don't know how to explain it. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. So that's pretty much, I think, a hint that it's gonna, the story is going to continue. Fiend is going to go against Braun probably at the next event. And it's probably going to be... I think it's going to be more of a cinematic type match. Kind of like with... not. Hopefully it's not like what they did with John Cena. Because that wasn't even really much of a match. Hopefully it's more like the Bone Yarn match between Undertaker and AJ Styles. Where they actually fight and everything. But I think that's where this is going to lead to. Which I really like. The storyline... The storyline... The storytelling is good. It makes sense. And the decision to just have Bray, he wanted to put Braun over, put Braun over. Okay, cool. Now you, it's going to bring out the Fiend. So, let him in. Let him in. You got to let the Fiend in, you know? But it doesn't hurt the Fiend's character because, yeah, it's the same person. We all know it's the same person. But Bray Wyatt is a different persona compared to the Fiend. It's like one of those schizophrenies, you know? Schizophrenics, but no offense. But, uh, yeah, so it makes sense. It doesn't hurt the Fiend's character, it just, it was Bray Wyatt and Mr. Rogers, you know? So I like the way they did that, I like that booking. But overall, the pay-per-view, it was decent, it was alright. The other matches, like, uh, the women's match, it was okay. With Bailey. I don't have too much to say about the others. I just wanted to give my thoughts on the whole, you know, the money in the bank outcome and the Bray Wyatt and Braun match. But the other parts of the pay-per-view was okay. The kickoff match with Jeff Hardy and Cesaro. I'm glad to see Jeff Hardy back. Overall, though, it was nothing too special. The R-Truth segment. R-Truth is just great at what he does. And you know, they, I guess they're kind of just trying to get Bobby Lashley out there. Because there's rumors he's probably going to go up against Brock. So they're trying to put him out there, give him that clean slate from Lana. Hopefully they do. Lashley and Barack, it won't be anything too spectacular, but it'd still be good to see, good to watch. But uh, yeah, everything else that happened on the card wasn't much of anything. Like I said, Bailey versus um, Tamina. Um, so like I said, I wasn't fully paying attention to everything, so I can't give my thoughts on everything. But I, I did have the whole thing on the event. Okay, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins. The match was good for what it was. Of course, Drew was coming on top. I did like how him and Seth shook hands at the end of the match. That was good. Um, but, uh, yeah. I didn't really pay attention to much else, but I just wanted to come on here, give my thoughts about those two controversial situations with Bray and Braun and the Money in the Bank match outcome. But uh, just let me know. I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys thought about the event overall, what you think about those two controversial situations, and... Are you excited for what might come? What might be coming? Um, think, like I said, if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. Thumbs down, it's okay. I can take criticism, it's okay. And hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. 
and check out my other videos. I do unboxings, Pokemon Go related videos. I do Twitch streaming, so a lot of my Twitch streams are on YouTube. And I do, you know, stuff showing my collection behind me. I have a couple videos involving wrestling, like trading cards, stuff like that. So check them out. If you like what you see, subscribe and give that thumbs up. I'll see you all later. Take care. Enjoy Monday Night Raw tonight. I know I'll try to anyways.